Hi, this is Jessica DeMassa with WTF Health, and I'm here right now with Sophie Smith. She is with the company called NABTA, and it is a women's health platform focused specifically on helping women in the Middle East and North Africa. So this is an incredibly interesting market. Tell me how you got into this. What exactly are you doing? What is the platform? Okay, so um, we're focusing on five problem areas of women's health. Um, the first is uh, the problem of infertility. The second is how do we make the transition to motherhood as smooth as possible. The third is how do we prevent the onset of chronic illness. The fourth is how do we lessen um, the effects of perimenopause. And then the fifth is how through early diagnosis do we prevent women dying of curable diseases. Um, the reason we're focused on women in the Middle East is because um, it's the part of the world that is still, uh, I would say, the most preoccupied um, with, with having family. Family is very important. So if you want to build um, any products that focus on reproductive health, um, the Middle East is a, is a sensible place to start. Also, um, from a personal point of view, I care deeply about impact um, and about empowering women um, with access to resources and information to more effectively manage their health. Um, these are women whose health has been most underserved um, historically as well. So that is also a very important consideration for me. Okay, so tell me um, a little bit about what exactly you're providing to them. So what is included in the platform? Okay, so we build, um, we have a number of different products. Each of our products has a digital, so a, a software or mobile app component um, and a hardware component like an integrated medical device. Um, as an example, um, our flagship product that we've launched there is called Nabta Cycle or in Arabic it's Nabta Al Daura. Um, the objective of this application is to help women who are struggling to conceive, so who've been trying for over one year without success, um, to conceive. Okay, and so tell me about the hardware part of this. Is this like an implanted device, or what is this? Um, so it, in terms of the data that it provides you, this is a market-leading device. It's a vaginal device, which means that a woman inserts it um, overnight. You have to have a minimum of four hours worn data. It actually records um, temperature and also hormone levels constantly. Um, once you, uh, when you wake up in the morning, you remove the device, you upload the data, and it predicts ovulation with 99% accuracy. It tells you if you are going through an anovulatory cycle, and it also tells you whether you're suffering from a potential fertility issue. In future iterations, um, it will even tell you exactly what is wrong with your cycle from a hormonal perspective um, and recommend um, treatments that you could pursue. So using something like metformin to stabilize your cycle um, or seeing a, a, a specialist um, and pursuing another line of fertility treatment. So in, in the Middle East, like what type of uptake do you have for a product like that? I mean, I would imagine like, I mean, maybe it's a misconception, but I think we view that market as incredibly modest. Yeah, I mean, it's a, they are incredibly modest, but for that reason, um, having a device that you can use in the privacy of your own home is actually um, a much more attractive proposition. Um, so for example, uh, in um, conservative Islam, um, it's believed that you shouldn't show any part of your person to a stranger except your face, your hands, and your feet, which is why many, many women wear an abaya with a niqab or a hijab to, to cover up. So if you are wearing um, a device on your wrist, like a smartwatch or something like um, the Ava um, device, uh, that's something that everybody would then see, um, and it would almost be like a red flag to say, this woman has a fertility issue. Um, so actually, we've, we've had a hugely positive response to the device. Not, we haven't had a single person tell us, and including some very um, conservative women, that they wouldn't use it, and in fact, most have asked to be part of our pilot. Um, so the, the uptake and the response has been very positive. You know, tell me again the number of users that you have, because I find this just to be incredible. So go ahead. Um, so in a couple of weeks' time, we should have just over one million users on the platform. Um, and these are registered members that are not necessarily users of our application. But um, again, like we've had extraordinary traction with, very, uh, with a very low marketing budget. Um, and honestly, with very little effort on our part, um, we, we've seen... I don't know, huge interactions with our content. Um, there's a, there's a, an information provision element to the platform. We share a lot of information via social media and other channels um, and have had in the tens of millions of views for those items. Uh, and yeah, take off has been good. That's amazing. And so where are you guys at? I mean, you as a company, what are you, what are you pursuing next? Are you raising around? Where are you at? Okay, so um, we want to bring the, the device at the moment, um, this fertility device is manufactured in the UK. Um, we want to open a local manufacturing and research and development facility um, based out of the GCC. Uh, 
traditionally, um, money has not been invested into R&D because people like to invest in tangibles, if not like brick and mortar, so construction projects, um, at least in things that you can see and hold instantly. So R&D is a long-term investment and has been neglected as a result. So we are raising a round. Um, we will be opening in, the, in about six to eight weeks. Um, and one of the primary objectives is to establish this facility. That's fantastic. And I want to end really quickly with your thoughts on just women's health and really what the future is for this space, because you were speaking about it so eloquently earlier. And I'd like for you to just kind of talk to me about that again. Where do you think the future is headed for women's health? Okay, so. Um, I think I probably object, although I describe us as a women's health platform, to the concept of women's health because when people think about women's health, they think about um, things relating to the erogenous zones, so to breast cancer um, or to any one of a number of reproductive illnesses, whereas um, actually uh, women's health just means health care that is relevant for the, for the female physique. Um, men and women are very different creatures biologically and uh, there are so many um, things that have been under-researched because when the research was originally conducted, it was done in the context of, of men. Um, just as an example, about 1,900 white papers have been written on the subject of um, men's sexual pleasure, with, a, with three there or thereabout written on the subject of women's pain. So on things like endometriosis affecting um, intercourse. Uh, so there's a lot of work to be done. Uh, it's a huge um, globally untapped market opportunity. Um, and while we're focusing on the Middle East, we would look at some point potentially to move into emerging markets, anywhere where we can have the greatest possible impact on the greatest number of women. Sophie, this is incredible. What a, what a wonderful cause. How can people find out more about your product, your platform, the company that you're, you're with? Yeah, um, you can go to nabtohealth.com. Um, where you can see some of our content, you'd be directed to download the application. Um, we're active on social media, particularly on Facebook and Instagram, so you can search at Nabta Health. Um, and otherwise, uh, get in touch. I'm on sophie at nabtahealth.com and I'm open to emails. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for joining us. It's a pleasure to hear about the work that you're doing. Really incredible. I'm very impressed. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Jessica DeMassa here at HIMSS and Health 2.0 Europe with Sophie from Nabta. This is WTF Health. Thanks so much for joining us.